Hello everyone again. In this lesson, we will study uh, lesson one C personal details. Okay, and the first uh, the first exercise here we have uh, talks about numbers. Okay, so let's see it here. We say what number is it? Okay, so numbers 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So here you can say 100, you can say 100, it's okay. Before we move, let's just uh, talk about it here. Okay, because it's very important. Okay, when I have the number here, 13 and 30. So this is 13 and this is 30. Then I write 14 and 40. Fourteen and here forty. Okay, then again fifteen fifty. Fifteen and fifty. Okay, so we'll talk about the stress here. Okay, the stress. For example, when I say 13, 13, the stress I have, okay, I will write the stress here. Okay, so the stress will be on teen. All of them, teen. Okay, teen. Stress means you say this part in a strong way. So you say 13. You don't say, for, exa for example, 13. No, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so the stress on the second part, the part with number. Read four, five, the second. Okay, the number is the second three, four, and five. Here, the stress on the first part, third, fourth, fifty. Okay, so the stress on the first part, this is the different, and the number is here three is the first, four is the first here. And again, five, the first here. And it's the same for the others. For example, we say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And here we say 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, they are all the same. So from 13 to 19, the stress on teen, and from 30 to 50, the stress on the first part. Okay, guys. Okay, so here, these are the numbers. We say 28, 34, 47, and 51, 63, 75, 86, 92. And when you write these numbers with words, or for example, you write here 30, okay, 34. Uh, so you should write it in this way. Okay, guys, you write it 34, two numbers. Okay, and you should be careful with this, okay? You should write it here. Uh, you can say it hyphen, dash, whatever, but write it, okay, 34. All the numbers here, okay? From 
like 21 to 99 you need to write it like this okay 34 okay 63 you right you need to write this uh, hyphen or dash here okay so now we're going to listen okay to uh, this in exercise number two and notice the stress here 10, 30, 15, 50, 19, 90. Okay, listen to it. Track 22. 13, 30, 15, 50, 19, 90. Okay, if you noticed again here, this dot for the stress 10, 30, 15, 50, 19, 90, 90. Okay, okay, now you will listen and write the numbers. Okay, take a piece of paper, listen and write the numbers. Track 23 40. Seventeen, eighty, sixty, eighteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventy. Now, if you finished, uh, you can repeat the uh, the recording again, so you can listen again and write the numbers. Okay, and now let's check. Okay, these are the numbers here. Okay, forty, seventeen, eighty, sixty, eighteen, fourteen, sixteen, and seventy. Okay. And let's write them here. First one, 40, 17, 80, 60, 18, 18. Then we have 14. 16 and 70 okay these are all the numbers and the answers okay here in exercise number three again if you are in the class we'll have a game about seeing the numbers all together okay and let's move to the uh, next exercise okay here look at this girl her name is emma okay and here we have uh, these photos for these things number one two and three okay so here we have a credit card a business card a mobile phone okay so a credit card which one is a credit card course is number two because it's a bank okay business card is number one okay and a mobile phone this is number three okay so here in this exercise what we will do okay we have some information here we say first name surname home number work number mobile number home address and email address postcode at work credit card number and job okay and and this information is here a b c d e f g h i j okay 
for example we say first name okay where is first name first name is b as you can see here okay so it's b where is b here okay what about uh surname okay surname maybe you can say surname is michel here no but b is just for the first name and surname is here michel is h okay so it's h okay so now stop the video and match okay the letters here for example here h you write it here okay you write h next to the surname here okay and this is the answer so stop the video and match them all together okay okay so now you finished okay we will check the answers together okay <clears throat> the answers are here so we say what's her first name it's Emma what's her surname it's Mitchell what's her home number home number is J okay 0151 and 4960633 okay the same thing <clears throat> here we say what's her work number so this is all the answers here and um, here when I talk about um, the, the home address let's see just a minute <clears throat> this one okay so in this one we have 68 68 this is the uh, home number okay some of us uh, live in a flat so the flat number maybe and here the house number okay and this is the name of the road after that the city after that the postcode okay so this is the order here from small to big house number road name or street name city and postcode okay so let's go to the next exercise okay let's look at this photo here okay where are these people yeah looks like they are in yes in the airport and this is an office and this is the woman she works in the office here okay and this office for a company for car rentals okay so if you want to rent a car maybe in the airport maybe you go you come to istanbul and you don't have a car you want to rent a car then you go to an office you ask uh, for a car okay so the um, the man or the woman who works in the office will ask you some questions some personal details okay and the personal details here these are the questions hiring a car okay this is help with listening sentence stress sentence stress and how many questions do we have here we have eight questions okay eight questions the these uh, questions are all about personal details okay and let's explain what do we mean by sentence stress sentence stress <clears throat> okay so if I have a word for example like um, market okay markets mm. okay so how many syllables um, is this word so a syllable means part how many part this word okay so this word market 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 two parts market okay so which part uh, is stressed which part with stress market or market
cat. So the first part is stressed here. We say market, market. Okay. So this is what we call it. What we call it? Word stress. Word stress. So we have one word and we put stress on uh, one syllable or one part of the word. Okay. But here in this exercise, we don't have word stress we have sentence stress we have sentence stress for example this is one sentence okay and we have here what and surname and please so we have three words with stress we say what your surname please okay stress is um, this is very important in English language because you say uh, the sentence in a correct way or the uh, the word in the correct way so they say what's your surname what's your surname so here your they don't say what's your surname no what's your surname your surname so what's your surname please uh, what's your first name please and what's your nationality so here again look we have and nationality of course the nationality the stress is here in the word okay but we talk about the, the all the word now uh, the whole word so we say and what's we don't say and what we say and what's and what's your nationality okay so any uh, word with stress okay here so this is stress okay the other words they are not important okay so let's listen to these words to these sentences and questions track 25 one what's your surname please two what's your first name Three. And what's your nationality? Four. What's your address? Five. And what's your postcode? Six. What's your mobile number? Seven. And what's your home number? Eight. What's your email address? Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, in the uh, in this exercise, exercise number six, we will watch a video. Okay, about um, this man who wants to. Uh, rent a car here okay and what we do you watch okay first of all just watch the, vid the video for fun okay I think you've got a car for me right first I need some personal details what's your surname please it's Watling and how do you spell that W H A T L I N G. Okay, thanks. What's your first name? Paul. And what's your nationality? I'm British. Okay, what's your address? It's 29 Elmore Road, Bristol. How do you spell Elmore? E L M O R E. And what's your postcode? BS thirteen six QT. I'm sorry. BS thirteen six QT. Great. Thanks a lot. What's your mobile number? O seven nine six nine eight three one O one six. O seven nine six nine eight three one O one six. Okay, and what's your home number? It's O double one seven 
0117-480-6544. Could you say that again, please? 0117-480-6544. Right, and the last question. What's your email address? It's paul99 at webmail.com. Could you repeat that, please? Yes. Paul99 at webmail.com. OK, thanks a lot. Now, what type of car would you like? I'm looking for a Golf, uh, if you have one available. Okay guys, so now after you finished, okay, what we will do, you can, um, now, you can repeat the video again, okay, and um, on a piece of paper, okay, listen again or watch again and write the information for the man, surname, okay, nationality, all the information, the woman asks questions and the man answer, the man answer and you write the answer, okay? Do it and check with me. And here's the answer. Okay. This is all the answer. Now, in exercise number seven, okay, here we have asking people to repeat things. So, asking people to repeat things, okay. So, for example, if I ask you, what's your surname, okay, and you say, Korabi, then I say, I'm sorry. Here, I'm sorry, that means uh, I didn't hear you. Um, can you repeat again, please, okay? So, here we have three questions, and we have these words, repeat again, please, could, sorry. Listen to these questions and fill in the gaps, please. Track 27. One. I'm sorry. Two. Could you say that again, please? Three. Could you repeat that, please? Okay, you can repeat the recording again, okay, and do the exercise. And let's just check the answers here sorry for you say I am sorry and you uh, say it with a question away I'm sorry and here could again could you say that again please and repeat could you repeat that please okay and here okay we have um, a note here when I say this could you People don't say could you, do you, no, we say could you, j, j, could you, okay? This is how people say it in the street, could you, could you, could you repeat, could you repeat, or here number two we say could you say, could you say. So you can practice, put any verb after could you and practice, could you go, could you come, could you eat, could you write, could you tell me. Okay, but here in uh, these questions is about repeating things. You ask people to repeat information. Okay, so okay, so then in next exercise, <clears throat> in this exercise, okay, you ask your uh, friend these questions to practice. If you study with a friend, uh, you can ask the questions, or if you are in the class of course we will do this in pairs together okay so what's the question here for example uh, you will you will say here what's your and the question here okay so you say what's your surname what's your first name what's your nationality what's your address okay and in the same way okay after you ask these questions for example and if you ask your friend and you don't know uh, or you didn't uh, hear the uh, the answer you ask you say for example uh, <clears throat> i'm sorry could you say that again please use this okay 
and for example if you ask your friend question for example what's your surname and he said Korabi and you don't know how to write it you say how do you spell that okay this is how do you spell that and your friend will say for example K O U blah 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 okay so that was everything about this lesson guys okay so in this lesson we talked about numbers here and uh, how you write number how you write two numbers then about the stress okay about we say 13 always stress on teen after that for example 30 and the stress on the first part after that we talked about some information about the business card the uh, credit card and the mobile and we had some information here we watched the video about uh, rent a car these are the questions that we use okay and how we fill in the form um, if you uh, when you ask questions and have you uh, fill some information for people after that how you ask people to repeat things and this is the practice okay guys thank you for watching and goodbye